Danny Smith, the special teams coach, is showing a full bag of tricks this year. Yeah, do it again. Why not? <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> Why not? And they'll send Gano in motion. And Smith, with the rush, will put it up. What in the wide world was that? Bruce Johnson with the interception. This is embarrassing. Johnson to the 40. Johnson to midfield. And taking it out of bounds at the 45-yard line. And uh, listen to this Christmas greeting. I've never seen that day. <laughs> I'm I hope never see it again, Josh. I'm speechless. I, I, I don't know what to say. They say it all. Well, watch the shift. The guys are going to shift to the left again. And I think Hunter Smith is looking over here to see the deployment. Obviously, they have a number of guys in here, so he motions the kicker out. How about that protection? They don't even protect for their kickers here in the first half. I have never seen that play when you have a chance to get something on the board before the half. We said the Giants can't let anybody behind them. They had six guys waiting there. Back to the line of scrimmage when they're punting. I mean, they're going the wrong direction. They had 71 yards of offense in the first quarter. Fewer than that the rest of the way. As Cobb throws it back across the field. A penalty flag is down. Ball is out. Recovered by Chicago. Trying to throw it to Jeremy Ross. The ball comes out and why up 11 points? The Green Bay Packers are trying to do that. That can't be explained. Now they shift out of it. He's got the fade at the top if he wants it. It's a shovel oh. pass and it's intercepted. He threw it away to Moore. William Moore, the Missouri native, coming home with his family in attendance. He makes the interception as Bradford makes a huge mistake. Once again. It's the, looked like the fake spike Dan Marino play for a moment, and now a flag is thrown. Intentional grounding. Offense. Lost it down. Oh, 10 second run on. Wow. At the end of the game. Took a couple of steps back, tried the fake, then spiked it, and his call for intentional grounding. 10 second runoff. The ball game is over. Hills off to their best start in three years and with a 10-point lead mid-stages third quarter Harvey Take it from about nine and a half yards deep and wanted to throw it looked like and he had prior on one side And he also had TJ Graham. It's a little bit unusual. You're gonna see TJ Graham. He's he's down He's down on the ground getting ready to do a push-up as they kick it off, you see Jordan Gay kick it off and Percy Harvin. He's going to come out of the end zone, Kevin. Now, keep in mind, he's only been here for six days, and he tries to lateral the ball. He's getting ready to throw the ball back in for him. And the Eagles and Cowboys are underway, and there's the outside try, and it's grabbed by the Cowboys. And heading in is Randall Williams, and he's got a touchdown. The Cowboys were ready. And they turn the tables on the Eagles. Practice all those throws. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now we've got on a fourth down and three. You got Griff Whalen ready to take the snap. He'll snap it. Actually, Colt Anderson is behind him. And heck, what in the world? Flag is down. You tell me. I thought maybe they were going to try and get him to jump off sides. Illegal formation. The whole right side of the line was not on the line of scrimmage. Offense. This penalty is declined. The result of the play is first down for New England. There is absolutely no way possible that they should have snapped that ball and tried to sneak it. There were three, four, five guys around two players. That was insane. I mean, you got a guy on either side of him. What are you doing here? I mean, they don't even try to run a play. I, I We've seen a lot, I'm, yeah, a lot I mean, of bizarre yeah. stuff. I've never seen anything more bizarre than that. 
what was the plan? I, I don't know. I mean, completely nuts. Trying to extend the lead to seven. And they fake it. And the ball is on the ground in the Steelers. The first man there was Clark. And you have to wonder about the decision there by the Lions. Rather than taking the sure three and a seven-point lead, they fake the field goal with the rookie Sam Martin. Can't put seven or eight on one side. So there's the shift. The Ravens respond. That's that thing went half a yard, then he just drills it down the field. That was bad. And two penalties are down. That is a swing and a miss. That was a whiff. You don't see that very often. The officials even laughing about that one. He just comes up. I don't know if he just. Yeah, this this That's isn't asking a little too much. He was trying to show that he was kicking it to the left and was going to try and pooch it to the right. That was an accident waiting to happen. He's you... going to try and kick it with his right foot. Yeah, he got a little what's that, too creative. What's that, what's that Irish dance they do, the jig? Yeah. That's what that looked like. So the Jets will get the football back in with three timeouts. Uh-oh, this half here. That's Chen picking it up. And Chen is decked at the 38-yard line. Same thing that Ladanian Tomlinson did. I, I think he took his eyes off the football because he's trying to see where he wants to run. So that was all by design. They go to Chung. And they had it, Jim. He's yep. going to go around the right side. There's not a person out there. To Marco That's Murray, it. the Tennessee Titans, the running back. They fake it to him. Into the bag of tricks early. Whoa, it winds up back with Smith. And he throws it too high. For Tyreek Hill. We saw that play in practice the other day, and it didn't work. It didn't work tonight either. Good snap. Now they fake it. It's fun. And picked up by Kansas City, and they're going the other way. Maurice Leggett, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Kansas City. The Ravens try to trick the Chiefs, trick or treat the sack of rocks, blows up in the face of the Raiders. Wow. They were going to flip the ball <laughs> to Janikowski, and Leggett picks it up and goes 75 yards. Ricky Williams remaining in the Wildcat, taking the snap from center. This time he goes right. Hey, looks the throw. Fires intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone. Chris Draft. Well, he tried to fit it in, but I think he just, right there, you knew he was going to throw it, and the hesitation caused it to Draft to be able to see it. He stepped out into the throwing lane. It was a weak throw because of the contact, and it's a turnover. Walter crosses the pitch. Brown. Looking to throw! Oh, big knock! No! Alexander with the interception! Wow! On its first possession of the second half. It's a fake! Look out! The up man looked to throw it, but he was tackled right away. Nakamura is short. Way all short, and the Bucks will take over. Yeah, I don't like that call at all. Luke Thomas Morstead kicking off right now, growing mustaches in support of Gleason, helping try to raise awareness of Monday. Brandon Boykin with a throwback across the field, and this is Riley Cooper down the sideline. There's a flag down because that's a forward pass. So this great wrinkle on special teams for a touchdown will be for naught as two flags were thrown right at the pass point. Illegal forward Doesn't pass happen. on the return team. That penalty is half the distance to the goal line. First down, Philadelphia. Only their 10th <laughs> as a team. Pass out here. Double pass. Holmes throwing far side of the field. And that's intercepted by Jeremiah Bell. Toss to Beckham, it goes all the way back, and Beckham looks oh, to throw. Nothing is happening there. And then he gets banged out of bounds into the Green Bay bench and tells Micah Hyde, uh, no problem. Third time today, the Browns are starting inside their own 15. A free flipper from their own end zone into triple coverage, and it's intercepted by George Iloka. 
as some blockers on the return. Iloka is shoved out of bounds. Curious play call there by Hugh Jackson and the Bengals, and the Browns rather, and it proves costly. Toss it back to him. Is there a shot downfield? He takes one toward Devin Aroma should do. Undercut and intercepted by Tremont Williams. Packers didn't fall for the fake, and here comes Williams on the return. Far. Jets have one first down as a team with 4.52 to go in the half. It's Patrick over the middle. There is Marshall. Wide open. Drops the ball. Eagles pick it up. They've got the turnover. Marshall had it, was wide open, and then just dropped it. And Jordan Hicks, the rookie, picked it up in Philadelphia in business. Uh, he didn't drop it. He tried to pitch it. Brandon Marshall with a tremendous play. They move him to the slot and watch at the end of this play. He sees his teammate and tries to pitch it just senseless by Brandon Marshall. We'll see if he's down. He is not down and gets rid of that ball. Unbelievable. Steelers with Brad fake Wing, it. and he's going to fake it and then throw, and it's going to be intercepted. Intercepted at the 41-yard line by Dane Sonsenbacher. You could kind of feel it the way they were lined up, the way Cincinnati was moving around on the other side of the ball. Instead of a pooch punt to try to pin him deep, they try to fake it on a fourth down and nine, and the Bengals get the ball in pretty sh pretty good shape. The two tight ends in. Jackson back to Bradford on the flea flicker. And he throws deep down for Brandon Lloyd. And it is intercepted by Patrick Peterson. Peterson was step for step with Brandon Lloyd and out leaped him for the football. He left that game early in the fourth quarter after getting sacked. Farrell Cooper's going to throw to a wide open until the defensive back crossed the field as the ball hung in the air. And Harlan Miller with the interception and still going for the Cardinals all the way. Fire when the strong pits you. That's it, friend.